Hi and welcome to First Person Kirillo. First of all, I would like to thank everyone who showed me their support by watching, liking and commenting my videos. It motivates me to record more games because I can see that people enjoy watching them. Without your feedback, I will probably stop doing this. So yeah, I would personally like to thank you. Yes, you. Next, I would like to make a quick announcement. As you might already know, starting next week we will have the biggest event in the Open Array history. Red Alert Global League hosted by Soulscared. I am very excited to be a part of that. I participate in the so-called Masters League, and just by looking at the contenders list, I can already see how tough the games will be. There are a lot of good players there, so I'll try my best to avoid relegation. The event is very promising and hopefully it will produce a lot of solid games. What this means to you is that I will be recording every game I play in the league, commentating on them and then sharing them with you on this channel. In case of my loss, I will be trying to analyze the game, possibly with additional replay review. If I win, then additional reviews likely will be unnecessary. Anyway, without further ado, let's move on to the game. I'm playing on Warwind, a relatively new map by Soulscared. The layout of the map is open at some areas, but the key areas of the map are of normal size. There are also two expansions, one at the top, very contained, and one at the bottom, a bit more open and large, but it also has much more ore. If you expand to the top, then you will have difficulties defending your harvesters. You can't really protect them with defense structures because ore occupies cells and it prevents you from placing anything on top of it. If you expand to the bottom, it's easier to mine peacefully because you leave the top area of your main base vulnerable. I've lost a couple games on this map because I neglected my top area and never bothered to scout there. The very first thing you desperately must to do on this map is to gain control over the two oil derricks in the middle. This is what I'm currently doing. You might think they are irrelevant, but I've done some maths and discovered that one oil derrick gives you 4k per 10 minutes. So two oil derricks provide 8k per 10 minutes. Needless to say that these 8k can be spent on air units which will harass the flip out of you. Do you really want to give this advantage to your opponent for free? I've done this mistake many times and I keep doing it, but the law of open array is that you must care about oil derricks. Always care about them. I can see that Amhel, who is my opponent for this game, failed to kill my engineer, which gives me just enough time to capture both oil derricks and escape from the future possible flag truck or APC. As for my opponent, I've played a couple games against him and I know he's a decent player, so I don't expect an easy game. I'm sending my troops all over the map to gain more knowledge of what my opponent is currently doing. I also know that Amhol invested a lot into early dogs and infantry, so at this point my economy should already be a bit stronger. I want to make sure that my backline is safe, because I can see that Amhol is actively scouting my base which might be a sign of an early rush. If he decides to attack me from behind, then I will have troubles defending from it, so I need to spot this as fast as possible, so I have enough time to react. I had to kill the dog and spend my defense structure, because I don't want to let my opponent keep scouting me. Also notice that I built a war factory and skipped a power plant, so when I placed it, I was out of power. That's why I sold my second refinery and sent my spare ore truck to the other field. This second refinery was very useful while I was building a war factory. With help of it, my harvesters were never waiting in line. I was also protected from possible refinery blocks and I was not afraid to lose it. But the main idea here is to skip a power plant and get third harvester faster. Basically. I'm trying to earn money faster. This is an experimental build and I haven't played enough games to tell if it's worth it. I built two light tanks and, as you might have already guessed, I'm going for a double refinery block here. Oops, I have troubles here, but thankfully I have harvesters nearby, so I can crush the engine. Luckily, 
I wasn't producing any structure, so he didn't deny anything. Let's get back to the light tanks. I am slightly worried that the APC scouted both light tanks, so in theory Amhel can defend now. Oh, interesting, he doesn't have a second refinery yet, so my economical advantage should be very noticeable now. I'm going to keep the pressure. I need to save my second light tank and block the same refinery, so he will be forced to move the harvesters to the top or patch. I'm guessing he is producing a second refinery now. To seal the deal, I'm building an infantry blob and I'm going to attack the top. In theory, he should move all his harvesters to the place where I will attack. By this time, I am pretty confident that I got this game. Again, timing is important. I don't want to block a refinery and do nothing with it. I should use my advantage. The only thing that can save my opponent is a sneak attack from behind. Perhaps a flaming rush. Speaking of the lightning block strategy itself, I think it's a viable option. To defend from it, you only need two rocket soldiers. That said, I agree with other people who think that husks inside refineries should be targetable. But uh, the concept of blocking things is very interesting and unique in my opinion. This time, Amhel is preventing me from blocking the refinery. But at the same time, he cannot mine because as soon as he leaves the spot, my light tank will roll in. Even a flame tower won't be able to do anything. Just look at my cache. I'm floating 3k and already producing artilleries. So my opponent admits his defeat and says that his economy is screwed up. It was very noticeable. If you want to play better, you should work on the ways to improve your economy. In the majority of games, a player with better economy wins. GG.